For just over six years, Cora Productions have been training the next generation of talent in drama, musical theatre, song and dance. This home from home for young performers of Whitby is a place to learn, grow and showcase their abilities. From regular examinations to out of this world trips, memories that will last a lifetime. I'm Chris Colebrook and I'm the co-principal at Cora Productions. Every February, for the past five years, we have taken to the stage to perform our annual showcase. Due to the current situation, a show was not possible this February, but we still wanted to mark this occasion with something. Over the course of this specially created programme, we're going to count down the best moments from over the last five years' worth of showcases, from tears and tantrums to talent and triumph. It's now time to sit back, relax and enjoy as Cub Productions proudly presents the Top 10 Showcase Moments. This story began in 2016, when the team behind the successful batch of children's workshops decided to take on the next steps towards a full-blown school performance. And just like that, the showcase was born. Tonight, we go behind the scenes with exclusive interviews with the stars behind the showcase and find out why the yearly show is so loved. I like it because I don't go to school with many of these people from Colebrook and I like to just spend time with Colebrook and all my friends from Colebrook. We've waited ages and we've worked so hard, like doing all the pieces and that, and we finally get to show it. Now, there's a lot of moments to choose from, so let the countdown commence. Nervous, but I soon got over that. But the one one thing that I was annoyed at is this wig was re- this was really itchy. <laughs> What's that? Your beard? Yeah, it was <laughs> the itchiest thing ever. I just felt like it was really fun to do, but the only problem with it was the outfit to get on. Um... came off and I was no longer a smurf, I just came to Pearl with a blue bodysuit and a skirt on. Love that I'm blue, absolutely mean. Main thing I love is when I did the ending too um, early because um, I missed the last beat. Yeah, but I did it on accident, but then I, I remembered I'm clumsy. <laughs> right before we were going to go on, my wig fell off. And <laughs> when did them wigs stay on? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it fell off and I didn't have time to put it back on so when I was going on I was putting my wig on at the same time. Um, I really enjoy it because like when we were there to do um, the pirate one um, the people who were doing I'm Blue were there as well and it was just really funny watching them doing it. I'm proud of my Smurfs. They're, they're just so cute and small and like, I, I ne- I've never saw, I've never met like, like this little Florence and I was like, oh, you look cute. And she started like doing all these turns and like on her neck on the floor and I was like, oh my goodness. Like, honestly, for someone so small, like she's so talented. And the first time I saw that dance was a bit like, they'll learn it. And then by the end, I just thought, oh, I was watching them on the side at Stain, I felt like a proud mum. Honestly, I really did. I get to think what the audience thought when we just turned round and it was just something completely different. They probably expect like a boring 
scene. Like, I don't know who thought of that, but it just made it so much better. I have to ask, you know the first time that we did look? Yeah. Imogen was Glinda, wasn't she? Yeah. I felt really sorry for her in this dance because of her dress. It was like skin tight, wasn't it? Well, if you, oh imagine, if you remember, the first dress that she had on was Smell of Sick. So yeah. she demanded that Kiana wear the sick dress and Imogen would wear the prom dress. Yeah. If I remember, if I remember correctly. But anyways, um, I enjoyed it. It was a good end to the show, I thought. I think that everyone was literally just so buzzing. Everyone knew what they were doing, everyone was having a good time, everyone's costumes were mint. It, it was just iconic. Bring the action. So yeah, obviously the dress smelled like sick when it came down. I think Josh carried it in and he just like unzipped the bag and I was just like, like everyone around was just like that honks, that is sickly. So I, I think I danced in it a few times and I was just like, I can't, I'm just almost gagging from the sick. And then we put Chanel's prom dress on and like, oh, it's such a pretty dress and I was like, oh, I really want to dance in it. So I was doing the dance and I was just at the front and I was just pulling the dress up like the full time. I literally like, went to see my mum like after and she was just like, you ruined that dance by lifting that dress up. And I was like, great. Um, I think doing it the first time was really good because we had the old one behind us. I think it was good because everyone who was in it was best suited for that role. Rosie played Wells, Dorothy, Alay was Scarecrow. Romy is like the lion, Neve is the witch and then Imogen is the good witch. It was really good because it was such like, an iconic dance. Personally, I, that was one of my favourite dances that I've ever done because it was like the main one for me because I was in love with it because that was like the second villain that I played, I think. And apparently I played that really well and I think I did to, as well to be fair. So I was like, oh, well, and then I got to play it again, but in a dance. So I was like, oh, well, I love dancing and I love acting as well. So it kind of like came together. But then, because you were it as well, I was like, this is going to be me. I just remember like when Jazz came up to me and was like, oh, have you ever heard of this song? Like, Beatles, and I was like, oh yeah, I've, I've heard that before. And we're like, we both already knew the lyrics for some reason. And it was just better than that duo thing we were going to do at first. Oh yeah, hairspray, wasn't it? Yeah. I already like knew my voice, what I was going to do, but I didn't really know how to like react wrong Jazz at first. <laughs> Honestly, the blood, sweat and tears to get the charades bit in Beetlejuice down. Honestly, it took us about four hours of consecutively just doing it over and over and over again. It was so fast, but well, it was I was so proud when you finally did it and you did it right on the day. And honestly, it was the best thing ever. Beetlejuice is like one of them pieces that I always look back on and it makes you quite proud of myself, like it's so cringy, like it really is. But it is one of them pieces that I am proud of because I feel like 
from what it started at as you can't stop the beat is that what that sounds called? i just think we ended up doing it really well and like it would have never been in the show if like i didn't have gone to trav and said like oh my god the soundtrack for this musical is unreal but i did feel bad for trav because his voice like his throat on show day i just felt so bad <laughs> The bit for me that grabs my attention in, in Eternity 7 is the bit where you run across the stage and you're like, oh, I think she's I think she's got to freedom. And just when we think she's got to freedom, drag her little body back on and over the, over the stage. And I always think, oh, they've got to freedom. I knew what to do because like Amber had obviously choreographed it to be like ready so I was like I knew what I was meant to do but I was still confused at the same time. So when I first got Greed I was absolutely over the moon because I know like it was the biggest acting piece that was going to be in there I was really happy. But looking back now, I'm going to be honest, I'm really disappointed in myself because I know if I did that now and we all did it, I would be completely different. I'd have portrayed it so different. And I feel like I've improved so much. And back then, like looking, I'm like, why did I do that? Why didn't I give more effort? That's our job, isn't it? That's our job. Yes. That's why we've been messing around. Something has happened right under your nose. Well, I remember that being in the showcase that I watched that I um, wanted to join back at Colebrook. That was that was one of the things that I remember being in it when I thought like I want to join back because obviously I missed you all and things. And when I'd seen like that piece, I think that was one of the things that I remember watching and thinking like, I really do want to join back and like start again. Do not blame me, vanity, that your world is getting lazier. I'm a bit dopey, I'm a bit stupid really, so I thought I could play it quite well. And then I, I realised that um, he has like a bit of a part with Gluttony, who was Trav, and Trav's my friend, so yeah, I thought we could do that quite well together. The costume, I remember, it was like all rags and that, and I thought I just thought it would be good with a character. And I had these like, I had these claws that barely fit me, they were like hanging off my hand like this. Yeah, it was good. So the darkness was personally my favourite bit and I feel like that's when it got really like dramatic and good because they were so good at playing like their little part as well and they did it so well like coming up to us all and and it gave me goosebumps like when they all ran out on stage and they were like running around and I just I loved that part. Well, I, I, I loved it. I thought it was funny. I thought it was fun. But, like, uh, I didn't expect people to like it that as much as they did. It was quite an independent thing that we had to sort of know what we were doing around people because we didn't really get told what to do. We were just saying, right, you have to go around these and, like, act scary. And so we sort of took it, like, on our own and we had to just make it our own. Well, when I first like time did it, I like struggled with it because I was learning it off someone else. So I was filling in for someone else. And I thought that was quite hard, but I think when we're in like a partner bits, we just like bounce off each other like dancing as well. 
the routine, I think we all really struggled with it because it weren't like normal dancing. It was pretty much like a music video dance. So everything was completely different. It's all, it's all just about Michael Jackson. The trousers, I'm not a fan because they make you look really fat. And they were just like, they're just, I don't know, they're like little boy school trousers. They're just not nice. God, them trousers were absolutely horrible. They were the worst things I've ever worn. Well, I think like my favourite bit was like jackpot dab bit, like, I just love how we remembered it by doing like the words. So what I liked about um, Smooth Criminal is that it was really smooth. I really like it how Romy did the moonwalk. I'm a massive fan of Michael Jackson and all his music as well. So that's obviously going to change it. But I think Romy played Michael Jackson really well, like the actual movement. You wouldn't even think it was Romy. Like, I got told by so many people that we did so good and Romy was just really good at it. I love Smooth Criminal and, like, a vivid memory that I have from it is the partner bit and me and Romy were at the front and I knocked Romy's hat and like I heard you, my heart, my heart, and I couldn't do anything because like it was like over our eyes. But we just had to carry on. But I think the learning process was probably the hardest bit out of it all. Right, well, I cringe every time I think about best bits or even watch best bits. I can't, I have to skip the dance because I can't, I can't look at it. I'm just like, no, no. When we were learning it, I felt like Chris changed the dance multiple times. We got it in the end, but you changed it quite a bit. Guys, but... I didn't change it once. Yes, you did. Right, I'm not going to get into an argument, but I loved playing MJ. He's just an icon. Love him. Sadly, not all 122 moments that have made up the showcases over the years have made it into the top 10. But here's a little look at ones who just missed the top spots. Starting us off at number 20, it's the crown jewels themselves, it's the monarchy. Number 19, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. Yes. <laughs> Number 18, Cruella always gets her way. Sneaking in at 17, it's caught out. Coming in at 16, As Long As He Needs Me by Neve Bellion. They made us laugh, they made us cry. Number 15, Winnie the Pooh. Coming in at number 14, the highest rated solo, I'm Still Standing by Travis Ledley. Don't you know I'm still standing, better than I ever did. But the microtrues do have a feeling like a little kid. 
Coming in at number 13, don't blame it on sunshine, blame it on the boogie. Number 12, it's Belle. Look at her. My future wife. But it's the most beautiful girl in the village. That makes it the best. Na, 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 come on. Coming in at number 11, just missing out on the top spot, it's the villain. it just made me so happy that I got chosen out of like all the children and then when I was like walking through the audience and everyone was just staring at me and I had the whole skewer behind me like whilst it was my scene I just felt like everyone was watching me and I just felt so happy I mean I loved it but it was just all I remember is like these latex horns and like we were going over and everyone else wasn't in costume but like we put these latex horns on to see how it would work and I could not hear a thing. So in the Best Beat show I played the Evil Queen. The people that we chose for that dance fit like suited the roles really well and everyone was like in competition with each other. Everyone was trying to like stand out and we had to learn to use our costumes as well rather than letting them like drown us when we were dancing, picking up our capes and stuff. Playing the Queen of Hearts in that dance was just unreal because um, she's just a massive personality and when all of us are doing the same thing using our capes like Rosie said and the atmosphere was off it and we all loved it. Yeah because I, I felt like before I was just kind of Thomas in a costume. The last time I felt like I portrayed the character a bit more, I stood up more like him and like used the hook a bit more to my advantage and stuff. And I loved it because I got to do the little fire things on the stage. remember it as like a night dance like it sounds a bit weird but because heels was always on a night it was always just like pitch black and like you just walk out and you should be like holding heels like walking out of the pavilion and just like, <laughs> like if anyone saw me i would just be like this it was so weird <laughs> it was kind of worrying considering we were going to be dancing in heels on stage and everything but when it as we practiced the dance more and more it got easier and it was quite surprising really how well we did it and once it got to showcase on the actual night like the lights and everything just made it like 10 times better so i think the dance was probably one of the cleanest dances that we've ever done because all of us were in time and when i watched it back and you couldn't fault anyone on anything yeah, Elise was in it and she did it so well for her age. Like, considering we're all quite a bit older than her, she didn't even look out of place or anything. You just feel shook that Todger Hall is speaking about you. Hello, everyone at Colebrook Productions. It's Todger Hall again. It, it wasn't bad. It was really fun because I love working with the older ones. I think they're all really good. And I just love the choreo doing it in heels and everything it just made me feel so good did you feel old i felt a bit older but i like that that's all <laughs> Altogether, it was so stressful. 
from learning how to sing because I'm not the greatest singer just everything like even like before the second night I was like I can't do it I can't do it Belle was on the side and she was like you can you can it'll be fine it's whatever you've done it last night so it was great all together but even like the rehearsals was just like oh my god not again do I have to do it again Our voices as well, once we've got chosen, had to not be our voices, it had to mould into what theirs would be, how they'd stand, how they'd act. And all of us, like, completely changed for this piece. Oh, I've seen horrible histories about, like, 20 million times and like it included Henry VIII and his wives. So I knew quite a lot about them already. And also because my dad is like obsessed with like history. So he was just telling me a bunch of stuff about it. Don't get too comfortable, your majesties. Did we not tell you? Number four was a tie. Enter Stella and Mrs. Blower. I liked it because Misha and Jess have a connection between them in the performance. Do you think that um, it was well cast to those particular people? Yeah, because they have like the right emotions and um, vocals for it. Mrs Blower, I am running this place by myself. How do you think I have time to nip out and get an ice cream? I really like the casting too because I feel like it was like Man and Misha's first like duologue together. And I feel like it was a right duologue because we both had the right amount of humour for it. I was like really scared before it. And then we went on stage and it was like, it was just amazing because we both got to perform together. I really like doing that piece because um, me and Jessica obviously have a connection and our humour is like great and um, it was just good to be able to perform with her and stuff. It went better than I thought it was going to go. Now I didn't think it was going to go bad or anything like that. I think seeing it from an audience point of view rather than just me and you sat there getting them to do it over and over again and changing bits about it, actually seeing it from an audience point of view the girls did really well because you got to just sort of sit back and enjoy what they were doing and what they were presenting to you, really. found it really funny yet really awkward it was just annoying <laughs> why was it awkward ah no it's because like i had to flirt with an older girl i know it's just in the script but it was really weird did you find imogen attractive no you better not have <laughs> no <laughs> exactly what i know it's lucas's sister acting through this piece it really um like it really made me laugh all the time and it there was never a dull moment while we were acting i thought everyone com communicated well together that 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 it made it a really good drama piece i was um i 
forgot her name, actually. I was Hermia. I was falling in love with... Was it Demetrius or was it the other one? So my character was falling in love with James's character. One character liked another character, but then that character liked a different character. And I thought it was like really funny and like fun to do because everyone was really like bonding with each other. With each other. I don't, I don't, I don't really have a clue about Shakespeare, but I was looking at the script and I was like, what the hell is this? I saw there was a donkey. So Alfie Baker was playing a fairy. I was going, what the hell is he? So when I tried to be the teacher, I tried to be Chris and I tried to be myself at the same time to put like the characters together. Yeah, I think we pulled it off well and we had pretty good chemistry when we were, like, learning it together. Because I remember in the rehearsals, it was, like, really fun because we, did, we didn't we did just, like, do it. We were, like, we, we all split off in groups, sat down and just learned the script, like, just like that. I was trying to breathe properly because of the the like the headwear that I was wearing it was so sweaty <laughs> and hot I was dying and I think it was fun doing it with Lucas because we've like known each other for the full time at Colebrook and as soon as I met him he was basically my best friend I, I thought it was uh, fun because uh, doing a piece with my best friend what could go wrong? This was my favourite, not just because I was in it, it's just because it was like generally really funny. And I, d I was hoping that the audience would react like that, but I wasn't sure if they would, but it made me really happy and more confident that they did in it but I did audition and the auditions were really funny when um, one of the lines was spelt wrong <laughs> tell me <laughs> and um, it was meant to say shirt but it didn't have the R in it so Ryan said it out loud and it was very funny I remember that so someone had made a typo on it it was meant to say shirt but they missed out the R so I went behold that <laughs> behold that I got it on sale <laughs> <laughs> that, is a, that is an error of typing. It's meant to say shirt. I got excited when Amber said that I was coming on first, but I also got pretty nervous. I was you, I wanna be me too. At first, it was it was confusing. Second, you got used to it. Third, we changed it up a bit so it got more confusing. But it's probably better when you do it on stage with the costumes on. But rather than that, yeah, it was good. Like a practice at home, my mum, my mum and my family always wanted to see me do it. Like when the song came on, she said, do it down there, do your dance from Cobra. And I was just like, no. Oh. And I really liked it because like all the, all the, all the audience was like clapping and it was just really nice. So I think it was really like, like all the, all the people were sassy. And like, it was like the older ones dances so like it was a bit like that yeah so then we were like feeling like all like <laughs> bougie <laughs> honestly best dance of my life do it every day yep 
Yeah, like the fella said, everyone was sassy. Um, don't think anyone was sassy, but no, everyone was sassy, but like no one in particular. Do you think you were the sassiest? No. Oh, good. I think we're all equal. Before we reach the top spot, let's take a look at something the showcase could not do without. The fantastic bunch of actors and actresses. An actor's life for me. A high silk hat and a silver cane. A watch of gold with a diamond chain. I'm diddly day. An actor's life is gay. It's great to be a celebrity. An actor's life for me. Turn down the diddly down. Diddly up the dum da dum. It's great to be a celebrity, an actor's life for me. costumes like I think like everyone's just made it and I remember me and Romy were a bit like not we didn't really know how to fully do the fight scenes because like no one's really done them before and I think Cole Brooks when we did Star Wars shown like we can do other stuff as well yeah I thought it was pretty epic because I, I do like Star Wars anyway but it just, just started to be the emperor. It's pretty good. We had the cart, me and Travis sort of made like a bit up by ourselves in the fight. And when in the practice, Travis always went the wrong way or I went the wrong way. And it would always just get messed up. So on the day, we just start, when we got closer to each other, we just did it like a little bit slower. Yes, Master. Right. Um, so I thought Star Wars was a really good piece because I think it was well thought out. All the dances were really good and all like went together. And I thought it was really fun like performing this. Like everyone like just clicked really. Like the choreography was good. You could tell what was happening throughout the whole thing. And like some bits of it were funny, like as to Thomas's che Chewbacca, like that was quite funny because it was just like having a sesh at the back. So I just thought it was really good. Well, uh, it was mafting. Uh, I, I do like Star Wars. I just I had no idea what acting like Chewbacca would be like, so <laughs> I just went on there, did the best I could, just done. Honestly, I think the whole time I was just thinking, make it good, because if it's rubbish, then I'm just going to be ashamed of myself. Because it's like, it was difficult, because the music isn't exactly music as such. It's more like just different sounds put together. So I think coming up with the dances and everything and like working together was quite hard. But in the end, it did all pull off because it did look mint. I loved the outfits, like, I just thought they were so cool. I mean, I think one of them ripped. I think man ripped up the side, but we won't talk about that. Um, but the dancing itself was, like, quite stressful because it was easy moves, but, like, we all kept doing them out of time. Like, one person was going one way, one person was going the other way, and we kept changing it every time. So it was like, you'd go into a so you were like, oh, what are we going to do today? Like, obviously, our music was easier to sort of choreograph to than others yeah we changed it a lot and then um, we sort of like one day you told us to just do it ourselves because we're all doing different things and then it did actually come together and we sort of had to do like the dance off the lyrics for us to remember it easier but um when we're actually on the stage in the costumes i thought it looked really good <laughs> I, 
actually have not ever seen Star Wars. I haven't seen any trailers or clips or like, and like other than like other pieces that we did with Star Wars. I've never like seen it or anything like that. But I think after we like did that big piece, I understood it. So that was like a good thing. I really liked it because like obviously Elise has been my one of my friends for like ages and I liked it because we get we got to choreograph our own little dance at the back. So when I was first put into Star Wars I was like really nervous to do it but when I got onto the stage I just felt confident and I did it really well. I've never ever watched a Star Wars in my life so I was really confused that like the characters and things like that, like, like I've vaguely seen it, but I've never sat through a movie because it's not really my cup of tea. But when I actually watched the piece like performed, I really enjoyed it. So it actually made me want to watch a Star Wars. So a few, a few nights after I actually watched one of the Star Wars movies and they're actually not as bad as I thought they were gonna be. <laughs> I'm not joking, when I was doing the fight against Freya, I was so scared. The mask. <laughs> I think, because like, obviously you love Star Wars, I think it was like, pushed us even more to like, get it perfect. So, throughout the whole piece of Star Wars, it was like, well costumed, well thought out. All of the dance routines were like, perfect. Well done to Chris. And, um, yes, girl. <laughs> and it was also thought out, planned, and who can say not to Star Wars? The Force will be with you. So thank you to everyone who has taken the chance to vote for their favourite memory. We're sorry if your favourite memory didn't make the top. Each memory is special in its own way to each different person. But for now, stay safe and remember, we will soon be together again.